Suicide Squad is one of the most anticipated movies of this year and will be released on 5th August. The hype is real. The marketing for this movie has been quite unique and awesome till now. Let's check out some of the newest posters, albums and magazine covers. Here we have three single character posters. Harley and Joker have similar setup with the Suicide Squad logo in the background. Harley's one looks cool but nothing really new here. But Joker looks amazing with this purple leather jacket and the expression is on point too. And I like Deadshot's poster the most. He has the iconic Deadshot mask on in this one that has been quite rare in the trailers and promotional materials till now. And probably even in the movie he won't use it much. Mainly because the guy playing Deadshot is Will Smith and thanks to his marketability they would obviously want to show him and his face a lot. If it was some other character or actor, I'm pretty sure there would be more scenes with the mask on. This one is Deadshot featuring the Suicide Squad. Killer Croc and Enchantress caught my attention here too. Harley Quinn featuring the Suicide Squad. Okay, the poster looks cool and I like the design too, but Harley is giving same poses in every picture, it's like they took only one picture of her and using it everywhere. However, it looks like either Hurley or Deadshot is going to be the leader of Task Force X, with possibility weighing more in favor of Deadshot, despite having the title Rick Flag looks like an unlikely candidate. This one is the coolest and probably the best among what we have seen till now, especially Joker fans must love this one. This one is very symbolic and the type of posters which one can see has deep meaning attached to it. All the squad members pointed towards a larger than life Joker, indicating how Joker will have immense direct or indirect influence over their action. Now, let's move on to the magazine covers. This one's cool, finally Harley with a different pose. I like how they placed all the characters in this one, especially the horrific looking Enchantress. Fans both familiar and unfamiliar with this character has a lot of curiosity to know more about her. And I think it is a good idea to tease her like this from time to time. The second one here is again Joker, another symbolic poster. We see a Newton's cradle with each ball embedded with logos of almost all the members with Joker pulling the one with Harley's logo back, probably signifying that he is going to be her puppet master or he is going to mess up the squad except for Harley. This one was quite unique and refreshing compared to the other posters. The marketing team has been doing significantly well with this project. We really haven't seen any DC movie getting promoted quite like this before. Suicide Squad's verified Facebook page has also uploaded some really cool artistic character posters showcasing all of the blockbuster's lead characters. Very recently, they also uploaded some very colorful artwork poster promoting real 3D or, I or the IMAX 3D release. The color combination is really cool and somewhere along the line has the classic movie poster vibe. And this color kinds of make you feel how unpredictable and crazy these characters are. August 5th looks very far away. The waiting is going to be hard. Let's just hope that it will be worth it.